season finale of this great season of America Le Mans Series competition underway. And Dorsey, earlier we talked about some issues, but there are also some scenarios Brazil, that are sure to it's unfold. It's the Brazilian Grand Prix they are tomorrow, 12.30 Eastern, 9.30 Pacific, live on speed. That should be an incredible race. Yeah, looking solid. Watching uh, the greatest sure. driver. So we continue with this uh, full course caution at this stage. Uh, again, uh, we're going to let things sort out just a little bit. That cleanup continues at this point. So a good opportunity for uh, the field to do whatever they can and get that all taken care of. And folks, it's a great opportunity for you to explore fantasy racing on AmericanLamont.com because, frankly, it has just taken off. So log on today to race against other drivers and fans on the series' best road courses, win prizes, and follow the world's best sports car series action. That's AmericanLamont.com. Well, Timo Bernhardt back in the lead in P2 in the Porsche, but of course it's under caution. We'll hope to be going green very, very Here's shortly. the Speed Report. Go beyond the highlights and beyond the stats and get the why with the Speed Report. Sunday, 8 Eastern and Pacific, only on Speed. So we're expecting, you know, tough, tough stuff from them. But, you know, the Corvette, the C6R is, is performing fantastically today. And, you know, I, I'm positive of, of a great result here. Another manufacturer's championship and a, hopefully a driver's championship for me and Olivier. A little bit of a scare early on. Olivier had that contact. There was some bodywork damage. Any consequences from that? How did the car feel? No, I, I don't think there's any consequences yeah, from that's that. That's about as I pretty just, a shot as you are ever going to see. But also it's indicative, Dorsey, the temperature is dropping, the sun dropping behind the hills here. 86 degrees currently 68 and that sun just now getting behind the mountain which will drop that 68 degrees quickly down into the 50s and affects that track he gets that white oh, flag he's going to have to stay out there risking running out of fuel and try to make it nurse it around 2.2 miles and get it back to that start finish line now remember start finish line is uphill <laughs> that's right by the time you get to the checkered flag so the situation here this is an all or nothing gamble for McNish and Capello in the number two Audi radio chat he has that extra bullet. Obviously, Maybe they just heard me say that half of the thing is downhill, put the clutch in the coast. I doubt it. But McNish well, is going to the hill one more time. The GT1, Sarah's and Barretta O'Connell, one, two, three. That should give easily. Car looks slow right there. Yeah, that is turn up. five. Boy, he is uphill tough. now. Whatever he's got, he's got to clear this hill. Build speed. Turn six. Flat out. Oh, breaks for six. He's really taking it easy. If he can make it to the top of this crest, he's in. Or it'll be close. But I want to give a call to the TV crew. You know, we're the benefits of it sitting here in the booth and enjoying uh, calling the action. But from the camera people out on the track in all conditions for all kinds of races and lengths, as well as everybody in the truck, nobody does it better. These guys set the standard, and we've been, I think, very fortunate uh, to be the beneficiaries of that. An honor to work with these guys. So. Amen.